Did you know that in 2024, over 70% of web traffic comes from mobile devices, that's right. With so many people accessing applications on their phones, it's crucial for developers to get the front-end, back-end, and SQL server working together like a well-oiled machine. So, what's the deal with front-end, back-end, and SQL server? Think of the front-end as the face of your application what users see and interact with, to back-end. That's the behind-the-scenes magic that processes data and runs the app and SQL Server. Together, they create a seamless user experience, but how do they really work together? Let's dive into it. Now, let's talk about some common challenges developers face when trying to integrate these three components. First off, communication issues can arise when the front-end and back-end aren't in sync. Imagine a situation where the user interface is begging for some data, but the back-end is just not delivering it properly. Frustrating, right? Developers often grapple with queries that take too long to execute, or with data that isn't normalized. Plus, keeping everything secure is another major hurdle. With increasing data breaches, making sure your SQL server is locked down while still being accessible to the backend is critical. So, how do these three components come together in practical terms? Let's explore. Picture an e-commerce site. The front end is designed with flashy buttons and a smooth checkout process. When a user clicks by now, that action sends a request to the backend. The backend, written in a language like Sharp, Node.js, or Python, processes that request. It checks the inventory and prepares the order. Now, here's where SQL Server comes into play. The backend sends a SQL query to the database to update the stock levels and record the transaction. Once that's done, the backend sends a response back to the front end, confirming the purchase. This interaction needs to happen in the blink of an eye. If one piece of the puzzle is slow, the user experience suffers, and we definitely don't want that. Let's look at a specific case study to illustrate how this integration can lead to significant improvements. A popular online grocery service faced issues with slow load times and drop transactions. After analyzing their system, they realized that their front-end was not optimized for quick data retrieval from SQL Server. They revamped their back-end processes to use caching strategies and optimize their SQL queries. The result, load times improved by 50%, and user engagement skyrocketed. Customers were checking out faster, and the service saw a 30% increase in sales within just a couple of months. What do you think about the integration of front-end, back-end, and SQL Server? Have you faced any challenges in your projects? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos for more insights on web development. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this.